Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, then welcome back. And if you are new here, my name is Susan Jones. I'm a former first grade and K through two literacy teacher who now spends a lot of time here on YouTube sharing tips, ideas, and strategy for kindergarten, first, and second grade teachers like you. Today, I thought I would share a fun and quick video with a few different freebies for you. And this video is all about Tuesday. Now, if you're wondering what Tuesday is, Tuesday is actually a fun day because this year is 2022 and you can celebrate Tuesday on February 2nd, 2 2 2022, which you would write 2 2 2 2, or you can celebrate it on February 22nd, 2022, which also happens to fall on a Tuesday. <sighs> Now, us teachers in kindergarten, first and second grade like to spend a lot of time teaching students how to write the date properly. So this Tuesday celebration can just be a nice little switch up from your regularly scheduled programming and you can celebrate a bunch of fun little skills. Now, this year might be the only official Tuesday because it's 2022, but you could also continue this celebration each year on February 2nd or on February 22nd. So I have some freebies I wanna share with you along with some other fun ideas to help celebrate your day. So if you're ready, give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and let's just dive in. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a reading, a writing, and a math freebie that you can use on Tuesday. Now, like I mentioned earlier, you can celebrate this on February 2nd or February 22nd. I know up here in Massachusetts, we are actually on our winter break. Um, starting on the 18th, I think this year. So we wouldn't be in school on the 22nd, but again, you can totally celebrate this at the beginning of the month on Groundhog's Day. That's already a fun little day, so you can add in a little bit more on Tuesday. I also have a bunch of other skills you might want to review or teach on this day. So first let's dive into the freebies. For math, I have this really easy game. It's called Double Up. It looks like this. This is actually included in a freebie I have on TPT with three fun print and play games. And in this one, students are just focusing on doubling their numbers. So they will move through the game board, double up those numbers, and the first one to get to the finish line wins. The next freebie I have for you is literacy based, and this would be to read some books with the word two in the title. For this example, I'm using Two Bad Ants by Chris Van Allsburg, and I love this book. This is actually included in my interactive read aloud unit, and I have you focus on point of view when teaching this book. So I went ahead and I took out that interactive read aloud for this book in particular and made it a freebie just for you. For all of my interactive read alouds, I have a preview sheet like this one right here. So you will see two bad ants. We are working on point of view. I have some terms to define for students as well as a little preview about what the book is about. And then I have some stopping points and interaction cues. So with all of my read alouds, I actually went through, I read the books, I marked off the pages, and I thought of some higher order thinking questions um, that you can ask your students to get them thinking about that focus skill and also some other literary skills that you may have been reviewing throughout the year. So here you can see I have the actual page number along with the different questions to ask. And I also have some questions for the end of the book. Now, most of those have a little I next to it. That's your interaction cue where students can either talk to a friend or they can just answer the question aloud. You may wanna ask one or two students their answers, but also one of those has a W, which is going to be their writing prompt. With each of my interactive read aloud units, I also include a reading response sheet and a writing response sheet so that W aligns with the writing response, which looks like this. It says, how might this story change if you were the one telling it? Think about the point of view, since that is what we focused on in this story and that is what most of the questions that I asked students kind of aligned with. And then they also have this reading response sheet here. They have three different questions and I asked them to use evidence from the text to support their answers. So I pulled those three pages out of my much larger interactive read aloud unit and I made them a freebie for you 
which will be linked down below with the other freebies in this video. And last but not least, for a writing freebie for Tuesday, I thought a fun one would be to think about some dynamic duos and some like really good pairs that students like. For example, I like to think of them from like pop culture to make this more engaging for them. So some examples I would give students would be Timon and Pumbaa from Lion King, Woody and Buzz, Mike and Sully from Monsters Inc., Elsa and Anna from Frozen, Moana and Maui. Personally, they're my favorite. And another example would be Batman and Robin from some like superhero type movies. Now, those would be some examples that you could give your students and they could definitely choose one of those, but they might also have their own dynamic duo that they think is the best. And the opinion writing prompt would look like this. Students would essentially pick the best duo and they would write a little opinion writing paragraph sharing which duo is the best and give some reasons why. When sharing our opinions, we always want students to kind of back up those thoughts with some reasons. So they would have to share at least two different reasons why this dynamic duo is their favorite. And then you saw it also had a picture box for them to draw a picture of their duo. After giving a few of those examples like Moana and Maui, Woody and Buzz, you can have students brainstorm some of their own as well. Like I said, I'm not, you know, totally in tune with all of the best dynamic duos in whatever shows and books and anything they are watching. So they might have some even better ideas to brainstorm first. Okay, so those are your three freebies, but if you wanna make a whole day out of this Tuesday celebration, here are some more ideas and some more skills you might wanna practice with your students. For math, you can have students work on counting by twos. They can work on adding and subtracting the number two. They can work on doubles and doubles plus one. And they can also work on odd and even numbers. For some literacy ideas, we have working on homophones, so words with dual meanings. We have working on compound words where one word might have two smaller parts. You can have students work on two syllable words and words with double consonants like the word buzz and floss. Also for literacy, I would definitely read a bunch of books that have dynamic duos in them. For example, Elephant and Piggy, Henry and Mudge, Frog and Toad, Stick and Stone. There's probably a ton. Those are some ones I'm thinking of off the top of my head. Actually, if you can think of any other dynamic duos in books, drop them down in the comments. That would be a fun way to keep the twos theme going as you are doing read alouds throughout the day. And for some writing ideas, I have that best duo opinion prompt. You could have students write about what they would do if they were a twin. And you could have students brainstorm what two superpowers they might choose if they were a superhero. So those are just a bunch of other ideas to celebrate Tuesday and make it a full day long celebration. Now for all those other ideas, I actually made a bunch of little worksheets. I put them in a little unit and you guessed it, I'm selling it for $2 over on TP. It looks like this, and that will also be linked down below in the description in case you wanted to celebrate, like I said, the full day with these types of skills. So that is a bunch of my Tuesday ideas, and I would love to know from you, are you planning on celebrating Tuesday? Did you already know about Tuesday? Is this new to you? And if you have any other ideas, drop them down in the comments below. Everything I mentioned in this video will be listed in the description, so be sure to grab those freebies. And if you wanted to check out that little worksheet pack, go ahead and check that out in the description too. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up so I know. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel and click that bell. That way you're notified of every new video. See you in the next one. Bye.